Um, but yeah, every week I go over kind of like how the markets are looking. Um, are they looking good? Are they looking healthy? Are they looking unhealthy? You know, the overall market specifically. And so the S&P 500, NASDAQ, the Russell 2000, the Dow Jones. So these are all kind of separate, you know, industries in them or sectors in the market. And so all the chart, all the lines on, on the graphs are things that, you know, we've been, these are not new lines. I just keep the lines up there from past weeks to kind of start showing you that like, charting is important if you if you really want to get into investing uh, whether it's these indexes um, or if it's um, for your specific stocks that you like um, charting can be helpful and it can kind of help pave a way of what can potentially happen in the future um, so yeah the markets are in a really interesting place so we had a, a really big dip for in the uh, nasdaq which is in this bottom left chart and so we saw a pretty big pullback. It came back up, broke out. This is the daily chart as well. So back in March, we came down. Um, and then we went up and hit a new high. Then we came back again. So when you look at charts, this is technically higher lows still. So higher lows is we had a high. We broke down. Um, we hit a higher high. And now this low is higher than this low. So technically, this is a bullish macro like big picture um chart um if we look at rsi this is something i kind of talk about every week it talks about it kind of shows how oversold or um overbought something is and so 30 is oversold above 70 is overbought and so we did see the rsi come back pretty pretty significantly didn't quite get to the oversold territory um but got pretty close and then kind of bounced here. So when we look at this chart specifically, let's draw some some trend lines because you know that's what I like to do. So I think a couple things moving forward for the next couple weeks um, is one thing to pay attention to is so this little area right here is considered a double bottom. So it came down. You know the buyers are the buyers were like this is as low as we're gonna get it we think this is a dip dip by opportunity it came up and then it came back down and it hit the same basically the same price so in something like here so on the upside we hit a high it came down it came back up tested that high again and broke down this is basically like the reverse chart so it came down hit guys i'm telling you this is a line i, I drew weeks ago and so we're seeing like drawing lines on these charts helps. Um, and next week, uh, I could talk about it real quick. Next week, we're going to do one-on-one -on, -one on trade on trading. So trading crypto, trading the stock market, where to trade, how to trade, some very basic fundamental strategies with trading on the technical side. What kind of stocks that you should be looking at? Um, what meets your risk? You know, how do you assess risk? what meets your risk level you're willing to take in the market and kind of what that means for how you buy stocks. Um, but to go back to the charts, we hit this low, came up, hit the low again, double bottomed here, and then broke out from there. Um, so RSI still is in a pretty healthy spot. I could definitely see this coming up a little bit more. I've shared it already, but I don't think, we might break out a little bit, but I don't think, I, I would say this, the market, in my opinion, doesn't have more than 10% upside at this point um, before we do see a more significant correction. Um, so correction is typically like over 5% or more, 5 to 10%. A recession, I think, is more than 20%. Um, so I do think we have a correction coming sometime in the next few months. Um, but let's see what the charts are telling us specifically. So one important thing to know is this is called a gap. So t typically when a gap is open. I mentioned this last week. It needs to come back and fill it. So at some point, they're going to fill this gap, whether it's next week and we start seeing this go sideways for a little bit, um, or it comes down and fills this gap and goes back up. One of those two things are going to happen. Um, but kind of upside resistance we see to the upside, I think the first place is probably somewhere around here in this range. Um, so we're pretty close to that resistance. We have this long-term trend line that I drew some from somewhere a long time ago. 
And so we see that it's it's kind of hitting that trend line right now. It broke below, it came back up, tried to break down again, tested this other support line, and now it's breaking back up. So this line's important. See if we can stay above this line. So if we can stay above this trend line and then also break above these three resistance points, the market's probably headed a little bit higher in the next couple of weeks. Um, like I said before, I don't think the market's going much higher um, in terms of new highs, but that's my my own perspective on the market. Um, and please, if anybody's in the chat, please ask me questions. I know this gets extremely technical. So if you have questions about, you know, how to, um, how to, how to technically dissect a chart or if something that I'm doing doesn't make sense to you, please ask me questions. Um, if we go to the S&P 500, I would say this is a little bit healthier. So not quite as drastic of a pullback in the market. Um, I could see the S&P 500 breaking out to new highs over the next couple weeks. Um, if not, I think it's at least going to challenge the, the all time highs back here. So this is something to pay attention to over the next month. Um, or even the next couple weeks. Um, I personally don't think we're going much higher than 4,300. I think that's probably going to be about the high that we see, or maybe, you know, somewhere between 23 and 2,400. Um, but same thing here on the market, same as the NASDAQ. So we came down, it tried to come back up. It, it tested that support once again. This is really the same exact chart as NASDAQ. This is why it's important to see the charts. So if you were trading like I was last week, I bought the dip back here last week. And I was wondering if I should sell the stock that I bought or not. And since I saw it hit this floor and come back, I was like, okay, I'm going to hold it a little bit longer and see what happens. And so, um, so yeah, so we see it bounce off. We see it come up very similarly to the NASDAQ. And so we'll see what NASDAQ next week has in store. We do have a lot of resistance right here. You can see this line that I drew from a long time ago. Um, I'll draw it but a little bit farther out. So we do have a lot of resistance right here in this space. So this is, in my opinion, I think the market's going to kind of go like this for a little bit. Might break up, but I still think it's going to come like this for the next couple months. And then we'll see kind of where the market wants to lead with the Fed talking about inflation. If we see inflation go up next, more mo next month even more, it's definitely going to probably send us a sell signal to the market. The Federal Reserve talked about... Um, tapering so slowing down their asset purchasing um, which would also impact the stock market so i think there's a lot of fear in the markets right now you see what's happening in crypto see what's happening in the overall markets um and so i do see this kind of probably going sideways for a little bit maybe breaking up. coming back up uh-oh yeah sorry about that you're Happened again. Yeah. Happened. It's so strange. I don't know why. Um, I have it up. Just let me know when you bring it yep, back up. You're good to go. But thank you. But yeah, so we see the same thing there. And so I keep, I've mentioned this for the last couple of weeks, um, but Dow Jones is way, a way healthier stock chart. Um, we drew this last week. It bounced off kind of this all time high. It's testing the all time high. It decided that it wasn't ready to break lower. And so we filled this gap back up to the upside. And so we'll see next week if we test highs again. Um, this is a sec this is a sector of the market I, th I think has a lot more upside than the rest of the indexes. Um, and so go online, search what stocks are in the Dow Jones, see which ones haven't run too intensely, and try to find some stocks that seem interesting to you. Because I think out of everything, this is probably something that's going to break higher out of all the indexes. Um, so that's a pretty, that's a pretty general, um, breakdown of it. 